and I ask that you guide us into the future to continue to build upon that legacy. Father, bless our paratroopers and bless the 82nd Airborne Division with thanksgiving all the way. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Bell entered the military service as 11 Bravo in October of 1977 from his hometown in LRB, North Carolina. 37 years career by the time he retired. The 2nd Battalion, 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment is commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Michael A. Hamilton of Jacksonville, Florida with Command Sergeant Major William J. Gallant of Hartley, Delaware. Ladies and gentlemen, the White Devils! The 2nd Battalion, 501st Parachute Infantry Regiment is commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Elijah Myers of Martinsville.
Second Command Sergeant Major of the 82nd Airborne Division, where he served for four years. He deployed six times, once to Iraq, five to Afghanistan, two of which he served as the CJTF 82nd Command Sergeant Major. And after retiring, Sergeant Major Capel continues to tirelessly support paratroopers and soldiers across our Army. His impact is felt across Fort Bragg every single day. And he's a member of our Hall of Fame. Command Sergeant Major Anthony C. Gregerson of San Diego, California. Chaplain Eric Spicer, the 82nd Airborne Division Chaplain. And this division will kick anybody's butt anywhere at any time. Just pull the trigger.
Tertullian Cavalry Paratroopers are ready and equipped to respond in a moment's notice. The 82nd Airborne, Airborne Division employs an operational readiness cycle system to maintain its rigorous posture, conduct training, and support for daily operations of the division. On any given day, nearly one third of the division is ready to respond to any worldwide contingency. The remainder of the division is in varying stages of training to concentrate on missions of paradise. Climate and terrain are always taken into consideration when planning or conducting military operations, and the 82nd Airborne is prepared to survive, run, and conquer the system of all barriers any challenge. During the year, the division also conducts ability to alert, marshal, and deploy within that 19 hours. At Fort Bragg, these units concentrate on reinforcing basic soldier skills such as individual marksmanship, demanding physical training, and maintenance of weapons and equipment. Squad and platoon live fire battle drills are given special emphasis. Battalion sized units are evaluated periodically on how well they make up more complex missions, such as an airfield seizure, non combatant evacuation operations, night attacks, anti armor defense, and air assault operations. The division regularly leverages the training facilities of Joint Readiness Mystery Center at Fort Polk, Louisiana, to help prepare for real world deployments. Using sophisticated night vision devices, every division unit is trained during three hours of darkness to maintain proficiencies in night operations. Oh, the night is the mandate for today's troopers. The 82nd Airborne Division uses more than 70. support. It fires a variety of munitions to a distance of approximately 19,400 meters. The Humvee Watching from your left, in formation you will see the AH-64 Echo Apache and capable of carrying up to 11 fully equipped paratroopers. In trail is the CH-47 Foxtrot Chinook, the Army's heavy lift platform capable of carrying 30 paratroopers and executing heavy sling load operations and parachute operations. The infantry squad vehicle can carry nine infantrymen and can be dropped by parachute or moved around.